Alright folks, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about Discord, the chatting application for Windows, Mac and mobile devices. Now, <clears throat> you might use Discord, you might not. It's a very, very good piece of software. Um, but this is going to be a little tutorial, basically how to change what you're playing or what your profile is showing that you're playing in a Discord. Now, this has a lot of uses for the likes of myself if you are a content creator or if you're doing other uh, work related stuff and not actually uh, gaming and you want people to know that yes you're around but say you're doing something you don't want to be disturbed so also I'm going to include in this uh, tutorial how to remove some of the notifications that discord uh, pings that flies up on the screen because it's very annoying when I'm doing screen recording or uh, gameplay footage let's plays things like that uh, and I just get these pop-up notifications down in the bottom right corner of the monitor and it basically destroys the screen capture and say for example there's something I need that's a part of a UI or heads up display or whatever and it's covering it and it's just a nightmare to get it away and it can be a pain especially when you're a part of a lot of different discord servers so I'm going to a bit of screen recording now Okay, so I'm now in the uh, Discord server. This is a little server I use from time to time. We have all our different servers that I'm a part of here down the left. So you want to go into your user settings wheel. And then what you want to do is you want to go into notifications to turn off the notifications uh, when people are messaging if you don't want to be disturbed. So you can turn off desktop notifications. Then you have the uh, message badge to show when you've uh, unread messages and taskbar flash and flash the app in your taskbar and you have new notifications that's quite handy uh, to give you a visual sort of representation of something's uh, happening or someone's trying to get you okay so we're in our games tab here and basically it's going to show all the different games or applications that I have uh, ran in the past and for most part here we have games included but I've manually uh, included Steam for the Steam process so people know that I'm playing Steam or that I'm on Steam. Basically with this once it's already been added into the uh, game section you can name it to whatever you want so say for example if you have the Steam application up but you're not playing games you can say you know you're editing or you're researching or you're reviewing or you know things like that if you're doing a let's play or if you're doing a series anything revolved around gaming so we're going to click on this for one second here and you can see here that on my name it says that i'm playing steam so what you can do with this if we go into the games tab and it says not seeing your game at it so you're given a drop down menu here and you're given all the sort of software that's open at the current moment on your computer so say for example you're in the game then you alt tab out of the game and then if it's not coming up on discord you can add it manually doing this drop it down and lift the application so say for example here say i'm researching for videos and say for example i'm looking to do an edit say google chrome okay they know i'm not in game so i add it and it says google chrome then i'll change that to the likes of editing ftv and i videos and then that should save and then if I have the Google Chrome application open it switches to editing FTB and I videos so that's going to be a little short guide on how to do this so this will work for games but I think it's also beneficial and probably more beneficial for keeping people or your friends up to date with exactly what you're doing so that you don't get disturbed and yeah enjoy making some good content uh, enjoy being able to set up your game that you're playing on Discord and uh, I'll see you in the next one.